Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Interesting. So you have ended up here. I don't know how. I don't know why. But there must be a reason. So, it's Wednesday morning about... Sheesh. About 10.40. 10.40 in the morning, we just hit back day. Did some lap pull downs, some hammer strength row, some T-bar row. Did some lower back extensions. Doing some rear delt flies and some shrugs for the traps, upper back, rear delts. The gym I go to has a badass bicep machine. So I had to knock out a couple sets of those, did some curls, easy bar, did some curls with the dumbbells, you know, curls for the girls, got to get these arms, got to get these arms big. But anyways, that's not why you're here. You're here because somebody's got to tell you the truth. I had to hear the truth too. I ain't going to lie, the truth hurts. Truth number one is they lied to you. I don't know who it was. It might have been your girl. It might have been a homie. It might have been your boss. It might have been yourself. But they lied to you. Somebody told you that that dad bod was okay. Somebody told you it was attractive. They lied. It's not. Somebody told you it's okay to skip a meal. Or it's okay to miss a workout or a cardio session. It's not. They lied to you. Somebody told you it's okay to give work 100% of your time, 100% of your effort, work overtime, and come home and give your family's leftovers. It's not acceptable. It is not okay. They lied to you. The second truth I had to find out on my own was, it's all my fault. And it's all your fault. Everything's your fault. And once you can come to understand that, you'll be able to move forward. But if you don't realize that every decision you've made up until now has created your outcome and it's all your fault, you'll never be able to move on. So it's your fault that you ate those cheeseburgers. It's your fault that you ordered the large fries and the large Dr. Pepper. I'm not gonna say that was my order, but you get, you get what I'm saying. You made the excuses not to work out. You made the excuses not to go do cardio. You made the excuses as to why you didn't have to eat chicken and rice and broccoli for dinner instead of Five Guys or Texas Roadhouse. You made those excuses. So where you're at right now is all your fault. If you look in the mirror and you're upset or you can't even build up the courage to look in the mirror because you know you've put on some pounds and, and whatnot, it's your fault. If you don't like the way the scale looks, it's your fault. If you don't like the fact that you run upstairs and get out of breath after one flight, it's your fault. If you can't run a mile in less than 10 minutes, it's your fault. And that's giving a lot of extra time. So once you realize that it's all your fault, you'll be able to move on. The third truth is only you can fix it. You know, only you can fix it. Only you can decide to endure the pain to wake up an hour and a half earlier to go get a 30, 45 minute workout in before work. Only you can endure the pain of feeling hungry around lunchtime and you know your next meal isn't until 2 o'clock. Only you can endure the pain in knowing that that cheeseburger is going to taste way better than ground beef and sweet potatoes. But you're just going to stick to your ground beef and sweet potatoes because it's going to be a better result. Only you can understand the pain of chugging that last 10 gulps of your one gallon of water to meet your goals for the day. It would be so easy to go get, grab a Gatorade. It'll be so easy to grab that Dr. Pepper. It's going to be hard to just drink nothing but water. But it's going to work. So what are we going to take away from this? Number one, we're going to take away that being fat is unacceptable. If you're a dad, if you're a man, if you are of high status, you cannot be fat. It's unacceptable completely. Number two, own up to all of your faults. It's all your fault. Step up, do what you can to fix them. And number three, only you can fix them. You can have outside motivation and all that, but without your own sheer determination and willpower, you're never going to fix it. So step up and fix it. Reach out to your friends, to your guy friends. Figure out what you guys can do as far as getting a group workout in once or twice throughout the week or coming together and talk about business ideas, business plans. 
figure out ways to grow with each other because in a group of men, it's way easier to grow than by yourself. Not everybody can be the lone wolf, so walk with your pride. Join in pride. And come to the realization that we are the revolution. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on in society today telling us that we need to stand down. But as men, you have to step up. You have to. You have to man up. Okay? It's your job to bridge the gap between peace and danger and protect all the people who can't protect themselves. It's your job to lead your family. Get strong. Get fit. Get smart with your finances. Improve the quality of your relationships. Reach out to me. Comments, likes, check out my Instagram, willpower underscore performance. I'm always going to encourage you to go out and, you know, build your own knowledge and research yourself. Find out what works for you, but do what you can to become the best version of you for yourself, for your family, and for everybody around you. Hustle heavy. Till next time.